Do you want to see some cams break? I know you do. You've been asking for a while. Watch on this episode of Cam Crusher. Hi, I'm Ryan Jinx and welcome to my garage. This is Bobby Hutton, and I'm sure you know him by now if you've watched any of my episodes. <laughs> so, uh, Peter Thomas sent me a bunch of random cams, including a number three Camelot that we are going to uh, start the test with. And we're just gonna play with some old cams, see what happens. We're gonna pull on the slings first and then the uh, loops directly uh, if we can. So we're just gonna see what happens. And I think Bobby has some cams too that we might end up breaking. There's no real hypothesis we're testing in this episode other than we have an adapter for Slack Snap and we're pretty excited to break stuff. So thank you, Peter, for donating these. Let's break them. If you've never met Slack Snap before, here you go. It's a 20 foot long test bed, a 20 to one pulley system pulled in two strands at a time into a winch. Got a dynamometer here and a dynamometer here. And then we've attached a adapter that my friend made for us. And we are going to, in this case, just keep them parallel. We have the ability to make them smaller and change different things, but just parallel for now. Six millimeter cordelette. It's about five years old and it's uh, fishermen's with loops on this side and a loop on this side. So let's find out if this breaks before this comes out. The cam looks like it's in pretty good condition. Clearly the, yeah, it's still functional. Uh, it's kind of got a some kinking, twisting going on here, but it's also a 18 year old cam that's been used for a lot in the last 18 years, Peter said. So it's a very, very used cam a lot, but well, okay, so we got 9.8 kilonewtons, and that sling did not give us full value for what this cam can provide. So we're gonna put, I, we're gonna try to get a soft shackle in here, something a little bit stronger, and see if we can pull on this again. So, oh, look at that. Whoa, this, this is insanely cool. Yeah, so one of the um, rivets at the end. Oh. Um, of that axle popped out. So that's. And then look, this other one is getting gnarred as well. And that would have gone soon. Um, look at, there's all of this here. Yeah. We'll have to look at what's doing that. And then on the other side, right right there, it's all chewed up as well. Well, that's really chewed up. Yeah. Wow. Well, that was quite violent. How's the soft shackle connection? The stem. Mm, was it like that before? Yeah, that's just yeah. the tail sticking out. Yeah, these soft shackles are about 50 kilonewtons and that bend radius is not too bad. So, yeah. wow. So it... It came out. Um, maybe in our next test, we can uh, taper it a little. And so it can like literally can't come out. So it came out at 16.6 .6 kilonewtons or 3,650 pounds of force. And we just reviewed the footage and realized that the space between these two bolts don't really accommodate a three inch cam. I actually placed it in this way to insert it. <laughs> so that's not a really fair test to have one of the lobes on the other side of this bolt. <laughs> but it did come up with a really cool result. 
And, but that explains why everything got chewed up. All right, anyway, so this is an 11 16 webbing. And this is a 20 to one. Ah, oh, beautiful pulley system. Fun fact, this amp seal was my original backup to my first 100 meter uh, Highline setup. And then we got our winch over there. It pulls in two strands at once in order to get a 10 to one speed, but a 20 to one um, muscle. And this will go up to 50,000 pounds. When you guys leave notes in the comments below on what I should brake test next, I put them on sticky notes on here so we don't forget to eventually do them. We are a one and a kind of a two man show. So it's kind of a, takes a while to get to things. But anyways, we have a point, what is that? A 0.5 Camelot. I believe this is the first generation with the U-stem. Yeah, this says the U-stem is right there. And then your 11 16th nylon sling. So let's turn on our 960 frames per second slow-mo. Me trying to be the slow-mo guys. It's on. It's on. Leave in the comments below how you think this is dangerous. All right. Slipped. What did it slip down? It's got some slippage. So right now we're currently at 4.55 kilonewtons. And, and that was after you... Yeah, so this is tapered. tapered. This tapered. is thinner here than out here. So... So this cable is probably not that good for the sling. Hence why it didn't break in the knot and it broke. In case you're not used to what webbing looks like when it breaks, there you go. Um, wow, this thing just really wanted to slip. I know it's obviously metal in here and slippery, but. Well, that is as over cammed as it gets, it's, it's flat. Wow. So now it's almost like a nut. So let's not even do anything else other than just attach uh, the like a 72 kilonewton carabiner to this and, and pull it. Yeah. Okay, we're indirect. Indirect. And so that's what we got. Broke a cam. Like, wow. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I mean, it's, that's in there. So if it doesn't come out, wow. a 16.25 kilonewton, and that wire is pretty manked up, 3450 pounds of force. So this is a blue DMM with a sewing sling that has an X shape in it so you can kind of extend it out in order to maybe not need a quick draw. And we decided to clip both strands to see if we can get this to break first. There's a little bit of a taper on that. Nice, so this broke, I assume, right here, because that's some pretty sharp, really, really sharp stuff. Because this is pretty sharp and gnarly and probably not great for the webbing. But um, it didn't break, it came, everything seems to be intact. The cam definitely slipped up though. Oh, it definitely slipped at 14.2 kilonewtons. And it's kind of wedged behind the, the bolt there. Oh, damn. So that one lobe is all messed up. So that broke. That's pretty cool. It's interesting it breaks there. I mean, yeah, it makes a lot of sense, but it's interesting. This didn't move at all. 
So you can kind of see how that looks like British teeth. Yeah, it's kind of mangled. So I broke a 14.95 kilonewtons or 3,050 pounds of force. Here is a DMM green little guy. We will see if he slips out before breaking this sling. Shocker, the sling broke. What are the chances? You know, brake tests are a lot more fun when you don't know what's gonna happen. Cool, well, all right, let's connect direct. We got 12.8 on that one. Or 2,750 pounds of force. Interesting how it bends and curves and kind of messes it all up on the way out. The triggers are all damaged. Yeah. Pretty cool. I think they had been damaged before. And we got 15.4 kilonewtons or 3,300 pounds of force. Check out this lobe deformation. Look how flat those got. It changed, you know, the curve is gone on that guy. It changed the shape, putting that much pressure on there. So here's our next victim. This is a Metolius cam with a sewing sling. So we'll get to see what a sewing sling does with the, um, let's see here, DMM carabiner that Peter sent. And we will see what breaks first. We're gonna put it in in such a way it doesn't hopefully slip out, but it barely works with like one lobe there you can see is not working. It's all, it's been, it's heavily used. It's pretty mangled. So let's just finish her off, hey? Eh? This is uh, made in January, 2002. It's 18 years old. So this is legal. Oh, look at that. What happened? The This lobe disintegrated. Oh, it's in two pieces. Whoa. Oh, it delaminated. It, it something. Whoa. Yeah, I think this was in there before. Oh. Oh. Not anymore. So what's the condition of our sling? Just fine. Okay, and the carabiner, because we got only 8.15, or 1,650 pounds of force, and obviously a carabiner can handle that. So, well you can see, the carabiner is a little softer. So that's a problem. Okay, last but not least, we have a green alien. <laughs> yes! This is everything I hoped Cam Crusher would be. Holy cow. Wow, and the sling. So the sling's plenty strong, the wire's plenty strong, that's really awesome. So we got 10.45 kilonewtons, or 2,200 pounds of force. So Bobby donated this one because he thought the sling might be bad. Oh, uh, look at that, that lobe, how deformed that got right there. <laughs> 